Hey, Shalon Winter here. As always, here's the risk disclosure. Know what you're doing before you do it. Trading futures is risky and you can lose all your money. So take a moment and pause the video and read over that. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be going over a few techniques that I use to help with your trader psychology. Okay, and these are techniques that I've used outside of trading, uh, predominantly in sales. I've been in sales for a long time. Um, great techniques, okay? And with trading, uh, discipline, psychology, we know the mental game of trading is probably the hardest aspect of it, right? Um, you know, we can enter trades, we can do all, all those, you know, things, look for setups, all that. But when it comes to the mental game, I believe, in my opinion, that's why 90% fell is the mental game, right? You have to have a very strict discipline to be able to follow your rules, follow money management, not go out of control, not uh, get FOMO, not, not, you know, blow those accounts. And I've been there, you know, like I've said in previous videos, I started trading March, 2020 in the futures market. Okay. And probably just this year, um, is when I've really started becoming disciplined, right? So it took a while. And what I did was, is I said, you know what, let me combine some of these mental strategies that I know from past careers into trading because like I said, trading is a mental game, day trading anyways. And this can go for any type of day trading outside of futures. You know, obviously I trade the futures market, but any type of day trading, this can work, you know, work with. So what I did is I combined, so I used NLP. Uh, I'm a big fan of NLP. If you don't know what that is, I'm not going to dig too deep into NLP, it is neuro linguistic programming, and it's basically a way to use your brain. Um, a lot of psychologists use it, uh, hypnotherapists. I mean, all sorts of of people use NLP as a way to alter your state, alter your brain, right? So, and my belief is, especially day trading. Um, Sometimes it can be quick, right? You have to make quick decisions and just as quick you can go out of control. So if there's a way you can change your state, your your state of mind, right? Instantly, then that's great. Because what I believe is once there's something that always triggers a downward spiral, an out of control move. Like let's say, for example, you took a bad trade. <laughs> you know it was against your rules. You got in. You're like, ah, oh, man, why did I take this trade? I don't know. I jumped in this trade. So then you say, well, you know, let me let me move my stop a little bit because this still might work out. And you hang in there a little longer than you should have when you shouldn't have been in the trade at all. You move your stop back. All of a sudden, you took a bigger loss than you should have. Then you say, oh, man. Ugh. And then you just jump back in another trade, right? And then you do it again. You do it again. Next thing you know, you blew your evaluation account or your funded account or your live personal account. And that's that downward spiral just goes and goes and goes. But what if, you know, what if there's a way you felt, you recognize that pattern, right? That feeling where you're like, oh, and then you could just change your state, change your state of mind just instantly to get out of that, right? There is a way, I believe. So I use NLP um, and I, I use what I call trigger words, okay, to change your state that quick. And another part of it is I use NLP anchoring. Okay, that's a way, I'll get into that in a second, but it's a way to, so basically anchoring is a process of associating an internal response with an external trigger. Basically an internal response is your emotions with an external trigger, something outside of yourself to trigger this. Okay. And I'll, I'll dig into that. So, you know, watch this whole video. I believe this is going to be some good stuff. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to dig much into exactly what is NLP and how does that work? You can research that on your own. 
Um, it's just a way to use alter to change your your mind state, your, the state of mind, your your where you're at mentally to change it quick. And if you don't believe that that's possible, let me give you a quick example of how a person can change their state of mind instantly. Okay, if you have somebody struggling financially, they're getting through life, they're just barely making it right living paycheck to paycheck, maybe not even paycheck to paycheck. They're just struggling. They're, they're just down, right? And they're borderline depressed and, and just sad. It's hard, right? Rough times. A lot of us have been through there. I've been through that. A lot of us have. Tough times. But then somebody comes in and just hands them a check or cashier's check or cash, 50 grand, 100 grand. They're automatically going to go from those feelings of emotions to a happy, like, wow, what? Oh my God, I can't believe it. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Instant change, right? That's a little bit dramatic, <laughs> of course. And it's not just about money. It's not just about money. It could be something do related to health, right? They're going through. Uh, issue health wise, all of a sudden there's a cure and they're, they're cured just like that. Or, you know, they feel better. It's, it's, it's an instant change of mind and it can happen. This is possible. Okay. And so what I do, there's, there's two main things, two main takeaways with this video that I do that I believe is very crucial. Okay. It's one using trigger words. And then two is using creating an anchor. Okay. So stick with me on this trigger words and an anchor. So first I'm going to dive into trigger words a little bit. Okay. And this video is not going to be very long. So these are things you can implement right away. A trigger word is something, and this is part of anchoring. Okay. They kind of go hand in hand and a trigger word is something where you can say a word, a specific word, and it'll automatically put you into a different state mentally where, you know, you can say a word and you remember that word brings you back to a time, a place that you can remember like yesterday, right? You can say, man, I was doing this or that. It's almost like a deja vu. I was doing this or that at this time with these people and I just heard this word. So whenever I hear that word again, it brings me back to that point. Okay. So that's a trigger word. For me, I use a trigger word before I trade. I say out loud and I have on a sticky pad, sticky note, right up under my main monitor, my trigger words. And you can almost say it's like affirmations, but not really because affirmations, you have to, you know, read them out loud as if you're there in that place already. Like, oh, I'm making a hundred thousand dollars a year trading. You have to say that's kind of affirmations, which those are great too. But what a trigger word does is it's just one word or one, you know, couple words and it brings you back to that, that one time, that one state. So if you create a trigger word, like like I have a trigger word and it's mental clarity for me. So when I, when I think, when I say mental clarity before I trade, I have to have mental clarity, mental clarity. What immediately flashes into my brain, because I've trained myself to think this way, is mental clarity. I envision, automatically envision a clear chart from what I'm normally, what I like to look at with not a lot of things going on, very uh, clear for the setups that I like, and not taking anything that I don't like, any any trades that are ugly or out of, like only basically no-brainer setups, okay? That is what I see in vision whenever I say mental clarity. Think clear. It, it, it basically tells me to obey my rules, all that good stuff. And then also another trigger word would be trade well. And if you've been in the trade room with me or anything like that, anytime I leave, I say, hey, you know, have a great day. 
Trade well, everybody. Why? Trade well, to me, instantly flashes my favorite setup. Great setup, and I can see it. If I close my eyes, I can see it on a chart. And the way you create these triggers, right, is you have to do it live in action. So if I'm trading and I see the beautiful setup that I love, right, it's going, let's say it's a downward trend and I see this beautiful setup, it gets to there. As that's happening, I think I say that trigger word out loud, trade well, bam, I take my trade, it wins. Then when it wins, you have this emotion, you have this feeling and you're like, ah, I feel great. When you have that feeling, say that trigger word again. And what that does is that creates anchor that locks it in, that locks in that feeling, that great feeling you have. Okay. So then you do that over and over and over whenever you see these trades or whatever it is, whatever, however you want to create this, you say that over and over, and then you'll get to a point because which I'm going to get into, it's called neuro pathways. You're creating, and this is a real thing. Okay. Our nervous system controls our bodies through what's called neuro pathways. Okay. That's, and that's why they say, if you've ever heard of, it takes 21 days to create a habit or to change a habit. Well, that's because the repetition is training your brain to create new pathways. Okay. So whenever you're doing these, saying these trigger words over and over, when you see how, you know, if it's a setup or whatever it is, and you're saying it, you're doing this over and over, you're creating the repetition over and over and over in your brain. And you're literally, this isn't a myth. You're literally creating a new neuro pathway to your brain. Okay. This is why I love this stuff. I'm kind of a geek when it comes to neuro stuff and neuroscience science and all that good stuff. But that's what it does. It creates a new neural pathway. Okay. So later you eventually don't even have to see that on the chart. But when you say the word, your trigger word, bam, it flashes in your brain exactly what you anchored it to. Okay. So that's one form of anchoring. That's a trigger word. And it's huge because there's a lot of traders, psychologists, trading psychologists, and all that, that'll tell you, you know, you have to have a clear mind, um, meditate, connect with your inner, inner spirituality and all that. Those things are amazing. They're great. They, I do a lot of that as well. But in my opinion, your mind, your brain is one of the most powerful things in the world. If you can grab it, you can control it, you can unlock so much control. You can get so much control of yourself, over your emotions. So these trigger words become so, so powerful. I'm telling you, this is so powerful. So when I sit down, I go through my little routine, I load my charts, all that good stuff. Before I do anything, I take a breath, right? Calm, relaxed. And then I say my trigger words and it puts me in this state mentally where I'm just laser beam focused and it works. I'm telling you. Okay. So that's trigger words. Now we're going to jump into the other form of anchoring. Okay. So with, with anchoring, it, it, you have to hit on one of your five senses. Okay. What's our five senses? We have sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. So, sorry, I knocked my mic from smell, hearing, taste, and touch, and sight, right? So, we have to use one of these five senses to anchor. That's how it works. So, the last one I I just mentioned, okay, was uh, we're, we're verbally, it's a trigger word, right? So, we're verbalizing that. But the way NLP anchoring works is with one of those five senses. And if I use the, so the other way I use it is, is through smell. Okay. So hang in here. Listen to me on this one. Have you ever had a time where let's use an example. Somebody might smell a fresh cut lawn outside their grass, right? 
fresh cut. It's a Saturday morning, whatever, and you smell it outside. Some people might say, oh, my God, that brings me right back to my childhood, waking up in the morning, run outside to play, and my dad's out there cutting the grass. I could see it like it was yesterday. Or, you know, smelling something and you smell like diesel fuel or something. Oh, I remember that time at this bus station. I could see it like yesterday and I got that smell. It just takes you back. (laughs) Well, that's anchoring. Okay. You can also the same way as trigger words create an anchor through smell. So, and this is so powerful. So I do the same thing. If I have a great trading day, okay, so you don't have to use this, okay, but I'm going to show you here. This is what I use called a boom boom stick, okay? You may have seen it before if you watch Shark Tank, but they also have like Vicks vapor rub, not vapor rubs, but like the Vicks smell sticks, you know? Okay, so what I do, what I did to create this anchor it might sound silly, but this works amazingly, okay? So, if I have a great trade, and I nailed a great trade, and like I said before, when great things happen, you feel it, right? You feel it like, ah, oh, you just feel great. When that happens, you smell this. Take a nice little smell. You, you get that, that feeling, right? That great feeling. Don't do it on your bad days. Just on your good days. You just got funded. Oh my gosh, got funded. Smell it. Okay? Whatever it is, smell it. Do it over and over and over. It'll work the same way as a trigger word. That you'll connect, your brain will anchor. That's why it's called anchoring. Your brain will anchor that smell to that feeling for what happened. Okay? So the next time, so after you've created that anchor, you do it over and over. And now, again, we have a new neuro pathway created. When you do it over and over... Then the same thing. When you sit down to trade in the morning, go through your routine, say your trigger words, then bust out the boom boom stick or whatever you want to use and give it a smell. And like right now, it's flashing back to my first time I got funded. That's what created the anchor. And I feel that you get that euphoric feeling, that great feeling. So imagine having that feeling and that whole laser beam focus right before you start trading. Okay. It helps tremendously. It's helped me so much. And you know, that's, that's about the, as far in depth that I'm going to go into that in this video, it's simple. It's, it's really simple, but in my opinion has been one of the most powerful things that I've done when it comes to my psychology of trading to control my, my discipline, my emotions. And so while I'm trading, sometimes, you know, let's say you get bored, let's say things happen. That's why I have my sticky pad, my little sticky note right there on my monitor with my trigger words. So if I do feel that sense of oh, frustration, I just lost, whatever, I glance at that. I glance right there at my trigger words and, and I take a deep breath and I say my trigger words and I'm back like that. I'll either say, you know what, I don't need to be trading anymore. I've hit my money management, my stop loss for the day, whatever it is, or I am get that sense, that feeling. I'm like, all right, here we go. Let's reset. We're going. It works. It works. I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> it's great. So, you know, that's, that's really all I'm going to go into. I highly encourage you to think about it, try to cre- think of some words, create some trigger words. Use a boom boom stick or something like that and and see, just try. I mean, what else do you have to lose? If you're going burning through accounts, if you're constantly battling your emotions, what do you have to lose? Okay, it's worked tremendously for me. So give it a shot. Leave in the comments what you think. Let me know. Let me know if it works. Okay, so definitely do me a favor. Hit that like button trying to build this channel up. I want to help a lot of people. So if you feel like this is going to help you, please share it, like it, and I'll catch you on the next video. Take care and trade well.